Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to the first lesson on Angular. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the editing environment in Visual Studio because it is easy to set up, gives you a local uh, web server to preview your project and it gives you good IntelliSense in your coding, which means it gives you little hints and highlighting for your code. So in order to set this up for Angular, what you're going to do is install Microsoft Visual Studio 2017, which um, I'm guessing you guys will know what to do from the website. Once it's installed, you then go to File, New, Project. Okay, when you're in Project, what you need to do is you need to look for the ASP.NET website application. So you probably won't be able to find it here unless you have installed it previously. So you're going to open up the Visual Studio installer. So you can see there is an option saying ASP.NET and web development. So you need to highlight that. And as soon as you highlighted that, you'll see that it's going to install it and it's going to install 3.13 gigabytes worth of stuff. Click modify to install. And then so just click continue, okay, and we'll let it install. Okay, so now that we have installed the ASP.NET web application tools, you can go to file, new project, and then we look for, uh, on the left hand side, look for web, and then just click on ASP.NET web application and you can name your web application whatever you like and click OK. So it says whether you want uh, some sort of template and in this case we're just going to choose the empty template and click OK. So now it is creating the project. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is to go to your Solution Explorer. And these are all the files in your project. We need to add the AngularJS script to this project. So in order to do that, we need to go to tools and then we need to find the new get package manager and then we're going to click manage new get packages for solution here is where we're going to try and find angular js so if you go to browse if you type in angular um, angular js Okay, this one here, okay, AngularJS HTML enhanced for web apps. Do you want to click on the project tick? And that will select the web application one, which is your project. And then you're going to click on install. Okay, click on install. And then this uh, preview changes window comes up and you're basically just going to click OK again. And hopefully it says installing AngularJS. And it might take a few minutes so I will pause the video again. Okay, so now it says that it has finished installing AngularJS. Okay, and on the inside the Solution Explorer, you can see a new folder called Scripts. So if you click into that Scripts folder, you can see um, all the AngularJS files. And the most important one 
is just the Angular JS file, which is this one here. Okay, so all we need to do is import that into our project. So now what we need to do is add a new HTML page for our project where the code for the Angular JS is going to go. So let's click on Web Application 1, right click and choose Add, New Item and choose HTML page, click Add. And you can see a new page called HTML1 has been added. That is probably not the best name, but it doesn't matter at the moment. So we're going to um, import the AngularJS library into this file so we can use it. So in between the meta tag and the title, you're going to press enter to create a line of space and then we're going to go to scripts and find the angular.js file which is that one drag it across so now it has imported angular.js so now how do we make sure that it's working um, Actually, I might show you when it is not working compared to when it is working. So if I get rid of that. Okay, so now the important thing we need to understand about AngularJS is that we can now add some additional attributes to the HTML tags, right? It extends the functionality of the HTML tags. So what is the first thing that you can add that tells AngularJS that we're going to start using it? And that is called the ng app. But adding this attribute to your HTML tag tells you we're going to insert some Angular code inside the body tag. This is now the root element of our Angular app. So all of our Angular code is going to go in here. And the next thing I'm going to teach you is an Angular expression. So if you use two curly braces enclosed in two curly braces, you can now type in some Angular code. So the most basic Angular code is just some numerical operations. So let's just do something like 10 plus 10. I'm going to put some code outside as well. 10 plus 10 outside and 10 plus 10 inside so you can see the difference. Now if I save this and test it in Google Chrome, you can see that this shows up. Okay, 10 plus 10 inside two curly braces 10 plus 10 so what does that mean that means that it's not working okay it is not working because this is exactly what I typed so AngularJS hasn't done anything hasn't done anything so what we need it to do is we need to insert the script so let's stop the debugging get that script inside and now we will see it work okay save it test it 10 plus 10 is what is in front of the curly braces so it's not part of the AngularJS expression and then inside the braces is the expression 10 plus 10 which has been evaluated to 20 so you got 10 plus 10 what about let's put in some order of operations 30 minus 10 times 2 divided by 1 okay does AngularJS do that test it in Google Chrome and what has happened it's 10 why is that 10 again because um, 30 minus well 10 times 2 is 20 20 divided by 1 is 20 30 minus 20 is 10. Remember the multiplication and division is done before the 
subtraction. One last thing that I'm going to show you guys today is how to initialize variables in AngularJS. As you guys know, in programming, variables are very important. So where do you initialize it? Well, you initialize it in another directive called ng-init. Okay. And what does this do? This all this does is it helps you to specify what variables you want in your program. So I'm just gonna have two numbers. I'm gonna have um, number one. I know how boring is that. Number one equals three, and number two equals five. Okay. So now. Inside our little expression, I'm just going to get rid of the thing at the front and I'm going to say inside the expression, number one times number two. Okay, and if I save it, execute this code, and you will be able to see the number 15. Okay, so it's got the variable 3 and the variable 5 and it's multiplied them together now you can also put in a variable for a string so let's say name equals Eddie okay and put in a semicolon with strings make sure you only use single quotation because you already have a double quotation outside you already have a double quotation that's specifying the boundaries of ng init. So that's why you can only have um, single quotation. Okay, so to put that into our expression, I'm going to say name plus um, is Eddie is um, and then three times so any Eddie is 15 plus years old okay just see how this turns out Eddie is 15 years old okay exactly correct all right so that is our first lesson on angular js see you guys next time